Hey guys, in this video we're going to do a um, we're going to write a function, uh, a multiplication function, and we're going to do it using recursion. So, let's go ahead and get started here. So, first, I'm going to comment um, in this video to say what this uh, program will be doing. So, this is a C program that will multiply two numbers and more specifically two integers recursively recursively I, I am misspelling that recursively there we go so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to include our library stdo.h and we're going to create our main function, integer main, and brackets, and then it's going to return 0. And then let's see, system pause, because I'm on Windows. And OK. So let's go ahead and do it. So we want to create, um, again, a multiplication function. Sure, we could easily do a print statement like printf. Um, uh, 3 times 2 equals 6 where, and we can change it where we have two variables, integer uh, A and an integer B and then we can have the answer, we'll call it AS, ANSW equals A times uh, B and we can set a and b equal to some value, so a equal 2 and b can equal 3. And yeah, let's change this up. So percent d times percent d equals percent d. And we want a times b equals the answer, which is a times b. So we can run this. And I'm going to save it as a .c file and call it recursive mult. And yeah, we can see that we get uh, 2 times 3 equals 6 right here. I'm going to go ahead and put in the next line. So it goes to the next line here. So yeah, now we see it's much better. 2 times 3 equals 6. And this is definitely better than what we're about to do. But we're going to do the same thing. We're going to actually write a function to do the multiplication operator. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to return an integer. And we're going to call it mult. And it's going to take in two values, an integer x and an integer y. And so that's us defining the function. Okay, and now I'm going to take this definition, place it down here, and this time we're going to do something with it. So when multiplying um, uh, x and y, there's different ways we can do it. So if I were to say a, a times b, um, this gives us some value, right? We'll say c equals c. So if I had an example here, let's say a equals 2. So we have 2 times 3. That gives me 6. But what is it really doing? Um, what it's really doing is, is adding 2 3 times. So 2 plus 2 plus 2, which equals 6. Or it's adding 3 2 times. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. So these are two different ways we can do it. Um, when we're doing recursion though, we need a base case. So let's create a base case and then we need a recursive case. So the base case when multiplying integers is, uh, well you know, let's do some, some error checking too. Let's make sure that 
the uh, values that the user is entering in, or the values that are being entered in, x and y, let's make sure that they are uh, both greater than or equal to 0. So if x not, no, if x uh, less than 0 or y less than 0, then we're just going to return 0. So we're not going to multiply negative integers here. Um, we're just going to do uh, positive. So maybe I should also put uh, positive integers. I don't remember if integers are all positive or, or what. I don't remember my sets anymore, but I can easily look that up later. Um, so the base case, if, let's see, if, if x equals equals 1, then let's return y. Right, so if we input x, x is 3, then we have, so let's see, the base case here would be 3 times, uh, 3 times 1 gives me 3. So in this case, if x, x is, x is 3 in this case. So let's change this up. x is 3, so I'm sorry, x, we want x to be 1, and then we multiply it times our y value, which in this case will be 3, we return the y value 3. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing. And we need another base case. Um, if y equals equals 1, then we want to return um, x. And maybe some more base cases. Uh, Uh, if x equals equals 0, then we want to, oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so if x equals equals 0 or y equals equals 0, then we're going to just return 0. So these should handle our cases. And now, our base cases. And now let's go ahead and... Uh, do the recursive case. So we want to return. Um, we can do it two different ways. We can, again, we can do it by the x. We can iterate through x. I'm sorry, we can iterate through uh, y. We can iterate y times. In this case, x would be 2, y would be 3, and we iterate 3 times. Or we can iterate by x. Um, which is 2, and you can see that we are adding y two times. We're adding y x times. Okay, so um, I'm going to just choose one. So we're going to return x plus, and here's the recursive case, mult of integer, I'm sorry, mult of x and y minus 1. So we're going to go, we're going to add x y times. And that should give us our value. And again, we could have also did the other way. We could have done um, return y plus mult of y x minus 1. So we could have added y um, x times, and I put this in the wrong parameters. So now we're decrementing our x each time. So this is just two cases, so I'm going to show both. First we're going to show this case here. Um, so here instead of us returning the answer, we will return um, the function mult actually we will still return answer and I just use the function here instead a comma b and let's see if we get the same answer and you see we do 2 times 3 equals 6 now if I comment this out 
I return this here. And you see we get the same answer. So either way is good. I hope you guys um understood this. If not, you know, please leave uh questions, comments, and I'll definitely uh get back to you and hopefully give a better explanation. But that's basically it. This program will multiply two numbers or at least two positive integer values. Um, let's actually check the uh, error case here as well. So let's say a equals um, negative one. Let's see that we should get zero. Of course, one negative one times three does not equal zero. So you can see that it it does have its um, limitations. And let's try a equals zero. We get zero times three equals zero, which is good. And um, let's try to put in a uh, a number that's not an integer, like three point four. And what do you think is going to happen in this case? Well, let's see. So in this case, oh, and actually let's let's change this to three point four. Okay, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> so let's not put in a here. 3.4. Here we go. So now you can see 3.4 times 3 equals 9. Um, of course, why is that? Only because we are taking in integer values. And here we're obviously putting in a float or a double and uh, a, a decimal number. So what it's doing is converting it to a integer, and it does that by rounding down. So it round down to three, and we get three times three equals nine. So thank you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.